Watch, Trey Gowdy exposes the DNC's deepest, darkest secrets. Again and again, the Democrats' Russia myth keeps getting debunked. With each new revelation, the left looks increasingly ridiculous. The whole country knows that Dems are making it all up to avoid accepting their own fault as a party. Representative Trey Gowdy, master prosecutor and patriot champion, is exposing the DNC for the criminal enterprise it is. Gowdy destroys the leftist narrative with one masterful question. Why didn't the DNC ever turn over their hacked servers to the DHS and FBI for analysis? The left likes to keep the Russia collusion story purposefully vague so they can make it mean whatever they want. Any link between a Trump team individual and a Russian person can be spun into evidence of collusion. But what collusion occurred? In what way was Hillary Clinton's campaign hindered by Russian agents? The only instance in which Democrat chances of winning were damaged in any way by an outside party was in the leaking of embarrassing DNC emails on WikiLeaks. These leaks are the basis for the entire leftist Russia conspiracy theory. We patriots know it wasn't ha a hack at all that became that made the emails av available to WikiLeaks. A DNC staffer named Seth Rich leaked the damning info when he saw the corruption in his own party. Nevertheless, the Democrat Party maintains that it was a hack carried out by Russia, even though there's never been any conclusive evidence that the Russian government ever got into the DNC servers. We just have to take the DNC's word for it. If the DNC email servers truly were hacked by Russia, wouldn't they want to help the federal government carry out justice? Wouldn't they want the Russians stopped? Wouldn't they want their system strengthened so a similar hacking doesn't happen again? After all, the Democrats are making this uh, out to be the biggest scandal of the country. Crazy liberals like Maxine Waters are using the Russia narrative to call for Trump's impeachment. If it was as bad as they assert, wouldn't the logical response be to help the government fight the criminals that supposedly made them lose the election? As Congressman Gowdy points out, the DNC has been completely uncooperative. Their behavior indicates they have no desire for the issue to be resolved. Apparently, they don't want bad guys, quote, to be caught. That's what the DNC shows in its refusal to turn over its servers to the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. The FBI would examine the servers to uh, better identify who carried out the supposed hacks. The DHS says it could help the DNC strengthen its servers to prevent future hacking. It would be in everyone's interest for the DNC to cooperate with the federal government. But they never wanted to cooperate, even when asked by Obama's DHS Secretary, Jay Johnson. Trey Gowdy comes to the only logical conclusion. The DNC's refusal to hand its servers over to the DHS and FBI means they are trying to hide something. There's something on those servers they don't want the federal government to see. The Democrat Party is the nation's biggest criminal enterprise. The last thing the DNC wants is for its dirty secrets to see the light of day. Sooner or later, the truth will come to light. The party of the left is imploding. Let's take a quick listen here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So what struck you most about your conversation with Jay Johnson today? Uh, a couple things. He's in a unique position to answer one of those four tranches, Martha. Again, remember, we're looking at what did Russia do with whom, if anyone, did they do it? What was the government's response in 2016? And he was the secretary of DHS at all relevant times. So I was really interested in what the Obama administration knew and when, and what efforts they took to thwart the Russians or to notify potential victims. You just played a clip 
where we had a victim, the DNC. And not only did they not cooperate with Jay Johnson, and they didn't turn the server over to the FBI. So I think it's a little ironic to now criticize, as some Democrats are, Jay Johnson and Jim Comey and others for not doing enough in 2016 when you had a really good piece of evidence you didn't bother to turn over. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's really a head scratcher when you take a look at it from that perspective and you put yourself back there during the election and you remember the emails that were leaked, very embarrassing for John Podesta, Neera Tandon, a number of people, and that was the main thing that Democrats pegged their election loss on. They said, look, because these emails were released, they call it the Russian hacking, which is apparently where it came from, but you have to remember the content of it. It was embarrassing emails that came out. So at that same time, they were asked by the FBI and by DHS, give us your servers, let's figure out who's getting into them and how. Why would they say no? Why would they not want to cooperate with that investigation? Oh, well, let me hazard a wild guess that there may be something else on that server they didn't want law enforcement to see. I mean, that, that's that's where you start. I, I don't like speculating, but, but, but I have dealt in the past with victims who would not cooperate with investigations. And typically the reason is there's something else you don't want law enforcement to see. There is no reason to not allow DHS to, to patch or fix a vulnerability in the DNC system and heavens knows there's no reason to not give the world's premier law enforcement agency, which is the FBI, yeah. the evidence they may need to stop another attack from, from, from hurting someone else. Yeah, well, I mean, it could be that the words email server were somewhat toxic at that moment, if everyone remembers the political environment that was going on and Hillary Clinton's email server was all the talk at that point. Um, so maybe, you know, the idea that someone wanted their server made them proprietary over that server. I want exactly exactly they don't want they don't want to see what the corruption is and we know seth rich was the one that released that the emails that leaked let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching